What's up guys, I am back again doing something else for you. One thing that I'm not good at is movie reviews. I not feel I never really felt that I have kind of like what it takes to review a movie, but I'm I understand that the more you do it, the more practice you have and the easier it comes. And to also just be yourself when you do the movie review. Don't try to copy anybody, don't try to like be something and don't try to like don't think that I gotta like do this like epic scale 30 minute review whenever honestly like it can be a short review and still get a lot of how I felt in it. So the sequel just came out and it stars John Boyega. He's the son of Idris Elba. Idris Elba was a not really main character but he was one of the characters. I guess you can call him in the main cast. He, uh, John Boyega is the son of the guy in the first one, and I won't go into any spoilers in this review, nor will I spoil anything from the first movie, because I really think you should go and watch the first movie. Um, obviously, before you see this, for sure, like, it's definitely one of those, like, you don't really need it. There was actually a couple in front of us, um, and I... I saw him like kind of like whispering details about the first one to her so she understood. So I really think it was her first time to watch a Pacific Rim movie. But it's not like you would be totally lost going into the new one. But definitely go and watch Pacific Rim first one mainly because it's literally one of my favorite movies. If not, definitely one of my, at least in my top five monster movies. I'll just say this right away to get it off my chest. Just get it out of the way right now because this is what you're waiting for, especially you Pacific Rim fans. The people that are waiting on me to say what I feel is what this is what they're going to want to hear. They're going to want to hear, is it as good as the first one? No. But is it a really well done movie? Yes. Does it feel like a different director? Yes. But does it still feel like Pacific Rim? Yes, that's all I needed out of this movie. That's all I wanted was it to still feel like Pacific Rim, still feel like it's in, embedded in this universe, but also be a sequel. When I watched the trailer for this movie, I didn't really like the idea of it taking place a whole 10 years later, but it actually kind of makes sense. It gives John Boyega's character some age. You know, he was 10 years younger in the first one, but he's not actually in the movie. A lot of people are worried about the Jaegers being like really, really... Uh, kind of shiny now like you know in the first movie they're really rustic and really like kind of beaten down and they had this sort of technology and then now it's like they're all shiny and new and they look kind of like transformers but really I didn't have that I didn't have that complaint the action still looked good there was a lot of stuff that I was really surprised by you know uh, this movie really like kind of took me on a ride of like emotion a little bit there's some stuff that happens in this movie like i said i won't spoil that actually legitimately brought me almost to tears because of the weight that it had um from characters in the first movie and i just it's what i didn't expect i didn't see it coming at all and i actually legitimately almost cried and that's a good thing it was good tears i was feeling the emotion from a movie and whenever you watch a movie like this you kind of even though it's just dumb action this movie is just dumb dumb stupid fun that's what people have been calling it on facebook that have kind of done a little status review is like it's stupid dumb fun and that's okay it takes you into a world that doesn't actually exist and that's okay it's literally about giant robots fighting giant monsters like and they made the best plot this whoever wrote the script made the best plot possible uh for this i went in knowing that it's not going to be as good as the first one and it's because I don't have those kind of expectations. I think one of the, one of the girls behind me, she like said something like, "I was a little disappointed because it wasn't like the first one," and that's it. That's the problem with people is they think that you know they want this expectation of like, "I want this to be even better than the first one, or at least just as good." I just knew I had a feeling it's not going to be as good as the first movie. It's a totally different director. Really rarely do you ever see a new director take on a franchise and make it better than the first movie. People are insane if you think that. It's just, it hardly ever happens. It's really, really rare. There's only been a few times in history that's even happened with film. But it really, like, I knew it wasn't going to be as good as the original. I just want to get that point across right now because you shouldn't go in thinking that. Go in with low expectations and just knowing it's going to be stupid, dumb fun but not stupid dumb fun as in Transformers because those movies are pretty much solid trash. There's some stuff I still like about them, but then I've really kind of grown out of them. But Pacific Rim is a much better Transformers 
type of movie. It's okay that it's not as good as the first one. I still have the first one on my shelf. I can I can enjoy it, and I'll still be buying this because the point I'm trying to make in this whole review is that I actually really enjoyed this movie. Charlie Day and the other character, the scientist characters, they're back. It's great. They don't actually look 10 years older, so it's kind of hilarious in that way, but it does. Uh, Mako, she's back from the, uh, from the first movie. She actually legitimately looks older, and I think they did that on purpose. I think they actually made her look older because she was, uh, like I said, 10 years younger in the first one. She looks freaking young in the first movie. In this movie, she's got a little bit more wrinkles. John Boyega, though. Here's what I was worried about. I was worried about I was going to go into this movie and him be very like Finn. Just kind of nerdy Finn. Not really a whole lot of power behind him, you know? Like, not really... But he he really took his father and just kind of translated it into like I'm your son and I'm going to kind of act like you he has a little bit of his attitude he has a little bit of his like leadership skills you know what I mean like I didn't expect to see that I did not expect to see him just be able to be a leader and that's no spoiler at all uh because it's in the trailer you see in the trailer like he's given a speech and it really has some power behind it. I really was surprised um, because he was actually allowed to use his accent because he is not an American man. Um, and in Star Wars, he used a American accent. In this, he was able to just use his regular accent. The thing about the first movie is the the big Jaegers and the monsters, they kind of moved really slow. They really moved sort of slow because it's trying to give you that scale of like, this is a giant being and whenever they do stuff like this, it's gonna look kind of almost like it's in slow motion because it's you know they have to do have to do a lot of mechanical work to get that arm to, to move. But in this movie, they do move faster, and it did kind of bother me in some scenes. I was like, ah, that's a, that action is just a little too fast for like these giant robots. Um, but Ashley made a good point. She was like, well, it's ten years later. I actually do believe that the Jaegers. Um, would have better technology by now. It's a whole decade later. So it does make sense. And there actually is different robots, different Jaegers that move quicker than others. And I noticed that in this movie. You know, you see in the trailer, they all team up uh, to fight the big thing. And that's literally no spoiler because it's in the trailer. And that's the one thing I don't like is that they just went ahead and gave that away. They fight the big thing. And I knew in my brain, like, that's going to be the final showdown. And I won't say if it was or is, but... There you go, the big group of them fighting. Those specific Jaegers, they all moved at different speeds, so I thought that was kind of neat. What sold me on this movie was the last 30 minutes. That's really what made this movie a lot of fun, and I got a lot of positive feelings out of it. I got a lot of just great vibes. It felt really good coming out of it, like, oh man, that was really, really good. And would I see it again? Yes, I'm probably legitly going to go watch this again. That giant kaiju that you see in the trailer, unbelievable. On screen, the build-up to that thing, the way that all the little things come together and make it huge, like, it was way cooler on the big screen than it is in the trailer. Up in your face, they had a lot, a lot of build-up to that. They really, it, it wasn't just, like, right away. When it does happen, that section of the movie is like so much fun and i i got the the feels again for watching a monster movie like a godzilla movie i got that like exciting like oh this is cool this is just so cool buildings coming down monsters getting smashed into buildings and like uh, cities that are evacuated so that the robots can literally just hammer on like some a monster and make buildings fall on them. it's just so cool and so much fun and it just kind of got better it's one of those movies where it starts and you're kind of like okay like this might be one of those sequels that just sort of does its thing and there it goes does it set up for a third movie i won't say how but yes it does and i'm excited about that because pacific rim is a franchise that is very underrated and it deserves a trilogy and it especially deserves a nice trilogy box set and i was very impressed that this movie was able to take me in as just a stupid fun monster versus robots movie and actually make me feel something. And when film can do that, that's when it wins me over. I've thought about my rating for a little bit and I think I'm gonna give Pacific Uprising an eight out of 10. If you walk out of this movie and you're disappointed, 
That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But just be aware, before you go into this movie, do not expect it to be as good as the first one. Because if you're a big fan of the first one, or even if you were like, eh, then it's one of those things. Like, if you didn't like the first one, you're probably not going to like this. And if you do, that's cool too. Everybody has their own opinion. So let me know in the comments what you thought about Pacific Rim Uprising, Pacific Rim 2, quote-unquote. I'm not really, like, big on the Uprising part. They could have called it 2 or something just a little cooler for the tagline. It's not really, like, something I, like, like was like, yeah, Uprising. It makes sense. Like, it, it does, but it's one of those titles that I think it was just titled. You know, just one of those. Gilmoro del Toro, come back for three. Like, if they announce that, if they announce that the f guy that directed the first one is going to direct three, because the only reason he didn't do Pacific Rim 2 was because he was doing The Shape of Water, and he actually wanted to do Pacific Rim 2, but he didn't get to come back, because uh, he's busy with that. So, if he just can free his schedule for, like, a year or two and do Pacific Rim 3, I will literally be so excited, because if they if they brought him back... To just tie a bow on this trilogy and make it actually, you know, good, I will be excited. So a lot of stuff with this movie I wish I could go into, but it is a non-spoilers review, and I'm going to respect that. This movie's a lot of fun. Go see it. Um, go watch the first one if you haven't, because especially if you're, like, a monster fan and you haven't watched Pacific Rim yet, treat yourself. Go, just don't, don't go on, just go buy the Blu-ray, like, literally, you could probably find, I found my Blu-ray copy at, at Walmart for eight bucks, um, because I wanted to show Ashley, and the thing is, with Ashley is, like, I was surprised, she loved the first one so much, and she loved this one, so I feel like I did good by, like, showing her Pacific Rim, because it's a franchise that is now, can be considered a franchise, because it's got a sequel now, and she really loves it, and I'm loving that she loves it, but I've gone on too long, so, Go see Pacific Grim Uprising, and let me know in the comments what you thought. And thank you so much for watching. I'm bad at outros. I'm bad at movie review outros, because I really don't do movie reviews that often. But there are more to come. I want to do movie reviews, and I want to get better at movie reviewing, because food reviewing is just a little bit easier. But thank you so much for watching. Please like, please share, and please subscribe. And you'll be seeing me in the next one. Trap out, and peace out. Oh.